Hey viewers, I'm working on this old road bike here and it's got these safety brakes, extension levers, or death grips, or whatever you want to call these. And I'm going to wrap the handlebars. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I already have several videos out there on how to wrap handlebars uh, for more modern style uh, brake levers. And uh, unfortunately, the, the method that I used in that is not going to work with these very well because with these levers here and the lack of hoods, uh, you got to wrap it a little bit differently. When these type of uh, bars and grips, uh, brakes came out, they were commonly wrapped with plastic tape or uh, cloth tape from the inside out. And that worked okay. But I'm going to be wrapping with more modern tape. And so I'm going to be wrapping from the bottom up. And so you have to make some accommodation for these ty type of levers. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now a lot of packages of handlebar tape will come with a short piece cut like this, which is designed uh, to fit back here when you're wrapping handlebars, but we're not going to use it like that. Or you might have to cut it from the end of the roll of tape. Um, but what we're going to use is, is to kind of cover the sides here. So uh, this is about three and a half inches long. I'm just going to fold this in half and cut this in half. So each piece is going to be about inch and three quarters or about 45 millimeters long and these are going to go over here like this these have adhesive on the back so I'm peel off the adhesive like that and what I want to do is I want to have this covered I want to have it covers the uh, the band clamp here I don't want to have it stick too far out but I don't want to have it too far back so I want to uh, cover it here and so I want the corners here to uh, kind of go extend beyond the top of the lever the top and the bottom of the lever like that and go out past the bar like that So I'm going to push that down and stick that there and with the second part That's going to go to the inside the same way. So put this back here like this and You want to make sure that it's not going to impede the brake lever at all so again, I want it to extend beyond uh, the top and the bottom of the, the brake lever body there. And I'll check the brake lever, make sure that's not going to impede that like that. And uh, if it does, you can always just kind of remove that part in there just so it's not going to interfere like that. Now I've got my roll of tape here. It's got adhesive on the back. And so I'll start the, the, pulling the adhesive and look backing off there. And I want to start out, out over the end of the bar here. So I'll start wrapping. I'm going to wrap it from the, uh, the, the, to the inside, wrap it like this direction. And so I'm going to wrap it and I want to wrap it uh, to uh, where the overlap is somewhere between one third to one half of the width of the tape. I actually want to probably lean closer to one third. And this tape is real nice in that with this adhesive backing here, it's got like a little marking on the inside. I can actually kind of use that to help line up. Sometimes tapes will have markings on the outside of the tape and you can kind of use those to like line up there. But I'm gonna use this uh, little adhesive part here to line up the tape and so I can get the wrappings nice and consistent. And I wanna apply tension to the tape and you know, I wanna pull it sort of taut, but not too tight, I don't wanna rip the tape but I want to have uh, tension all the way and try to get that as consistent. So try to get consistent overlap and consistent tension all the way around and I'll just keep wrapping up this way. Now when you get to the curve here, you want to probably overlap more to the inside so that you can get continued consistency to the overlap on the outside. So I want to continue so it's still getting over a third of an overlap on the outside there, but I'm going to have to probably have more like a half of the width of the tape to the inside. Now wrapping around the brake lever is always going to be the trickiest part here. And so what I want to do is I want to kind of adjust my wrapping because I want uh, the, the last loop uh, the last uh, wrap around on the bottom to come flush up against the bottom of the lever body there. So I can kind of adjust this wrapping here because I want it again to still be consistent. Nice and, and you can uh, always unwrap it a little bit and rewrap it a little bit. 
And when I over uh, wrap over this these uh, little side parts there, I want to make sure that I get over the uh, the corners as I wrap around those. And so now here's going to be the final uh, loop around on the bottom part here, and I want to come up flush right underneath that lever. Maybe even come up so it comes up over the uh, bottom uh, of lever. It curves up a little bit there. And so I, I've overlapped this corner here. I've overlapped the corner on the other side of the little side pieces there. And so now from here, I'm going to come up diagonally across the back of the lever here. Like this. And I want to pull it nice and tight because I want to make sure that it kind of pull, this is pulled in nice and tight there. And bring this over here like this. And then I'm going to... Again, I want to make sure I, I come over the corners of these little side parts there. And I'll pull this nice and tight there. And try to get these kind of pulled tight in there so that they're not kind of exposed there. And so I'll bring this up th here like this. And uh, kind of overlap here like this. And then I'm going to continue wrapping in that same direction here. And so double check to make sure that everything here is cleanly covered here like that that there's no exposed parts under there if it is you can always unwrap a little bit and retry and now I'm going to continue my overlapping of a third up here the same way as I did below and then the same thing again with this curve here I want to overlap it a little bit more to the inside so that I can get consistent uh, one-third overlap on the outside of the curve there and so I'm now I'm going to be wrapping it right up to this little point here because uh, there's like a little uh, uh, the smooth part here and then it gets rougher here and then there's like a little drop off there I'm gonna wrap it right up to that point there and hopefully I'll have enough tape left to reach that if you if you run out of tape there that means you overlapped too much and so you might have to unwrap the tape and uh, start over again um, but I'm gonna wrap right up to that point there and so yeah, I have plenty enough tape here to go over that. Now what I want to do is I want to cut the tape so that it's diagonally in line with that little uh, line there. And so I'm going to cut here, there, and I can even bring this around here like this and continue that line like that. and then wrap this around like that. See, nice and pretty there, nice and consistent. And so now I'm gonna take some electrical tape here and find the end here. And I'm gonna put the electrical tape onto the bar tape there and I'm gonna pull that and I'm gonna continue wrapping this in the same direction that I was wrapping the bar tape. So this is actually kind of pulling this tight on there. And I'm gonna pull the electrical tape tight, you know, or sort of tight to begin with on these first uh, wraps around here. And then I'm gonna ease the tension. I, wanna, I don't wanna have too much tension on the final wrap, because if I have too much tension there, that it's, the tape is actually going to kind of pull itself back and I don't want that to happen so I'm just going to pull it tight enough so that it con uh, conforms with the uh, texture of the tape there you know so the little curves there and like that and so I want it to kind of finish on the bottom of the bar like that Then a lot of tapes come with like a nice little finishing strip here to make it nice and pretty here. This has got the, the Bontrager logo there. And so I'm gonna put this on and you kind of want to line it up so you can either have like the, maybe the logo on the front or the top or kind of in between. I'm gonna have this sort of in between. So I'm gonna kind of get that line up there. Make sure you have the logo facing the right direction. And uh, take the back of the tape here, the bottom part of it, and wrap that kind of underneath like that. Make sure that you have it lined up with the edge of the tape there. And then I can take the top part here 
wrap that over like this. Again, applying just enough tension so that it conforms with the contours of the tape there. And so that's going to kind of finish sort of on the bottom like that and kind of hide at the end of the tape there. Like that. Now I want to install the bar plug here. I've got uh, tape coming out past the end of the bar there. And so I'm going to push this tape into the bar, get it all nice and tucked in. And then I'm going to take the bar uh, plug, and there's a logo on there. I want to make sure that I have the, the uh, logo facing the, the correct direction. Just makes it look prettier. And so I'm going to use the, the bar plug to kind of push the tape into the end of the bar. And make sure it all is getting pushed in. If not, you always pull it back out and try again. And push that in. And then you can either use like maybe a like rubber mallet or the palm of your hand to get that all nice and pushed in like that just wrap the other side the same way and you're all done everything's nice and pretty here all nice and clean lines here around the brake levers if you think this looks pretty click like on my video if you found this useful or interesting click like on my video the likes helps me out and if you're not subscribed to my channel click the big subscribe button and i'm always coming out with new bike videos or other stuff and I'm um, also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.